no bad. We got momentum, don't try to stop it. Diamonds are clearer than my conscience. I don't let bygones be bygones. It's that's when I'm honest. Penthouse building, reach heaven's heights. Now that's what you call a god complex. Remember the days I was down low when it was out cold, but I went out and got it. Look at my milestones, man, it feel like the Dow Jones when you look at my pocket. Look at the flex, yeah. whipping the Teslas. Ooh, I'm a mess, but I'm a ooh. It's out of the nest. Ooh, ooh. Boy, yo, stop it, quiet. If it's snow, I didn't got it. See my jewels, shining, shining. White diamonds, Miley Cyrus, private jet, private pilot. Look at me, stylish, stylish. Masterpiece, body, body, young. Hey. Century Link Field on a patented rainy afternoon in Seattle, Washington. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Detroit Lions and the Seattle Seahawks. On the return, Tremont Smith. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. corralled right around the 34. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big pickup of 38. They've done a pretty good job containing him up until this drive, and until that run, there was no containing him at all. Yeah, you're right about that. He finally popped free. But we didn't have to be in their practice sessions. We didn't have to be in their meeting rooms. They planned for a run like that to happen, maybe a couple of them. But what did they tell their guys all week? You know what they said. Move on to the next play. That one just happened. Let it go. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. This will be caught at about the five. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions take it right down and score on the opening drive. The point after it threw the raindrops up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25.
They'll come out throwing here on first down. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. They could not ask for a worse start. You give up a touchdown on the game's opening drive, and then you turn right around and throw the interception on your very first play. And this is where the coaching staff has to earn its money because they've got to calm these guys down a little bit. Just... And he's going to be dropped back at the 15-yard line. Vita Vea forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They'll still have a third and goal now, despite picking up 13 yards on that pass play. Back to throw. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. The kick is good. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Second and seven. Eluding the pressure right. He'll have a first down past the 40. And finally taken down at the 34. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Davis on the tackle. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 30-yard line. Flush to his right. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. They'll run on first down. Atkinson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And 11 at the Lions' 23-yard line. Second and 11. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll make it third down. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. gun now on third down and he will score touchdown Seattle Darren Waller his second touchdown on the season and the Seahawks able to make this a close game again bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone so obviously his confidence was never lost and that's a good thing to see great quality to have you absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll 
They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Screen pass to Charles. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. That's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just stuck out. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Detroit. A big play there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Lions strike quickly here for six points. Rosas good with the extra point. And it's now 21-7. to Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what a... Adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Second and nine now. He's going to let this one go deep. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Cooper's got it. And they work this well upfield across the 45. They give him 22 there on the third down conversion. First and 10 at the 47-yard line. Now a handoff looking right. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And all the way in. Touchdown, Seattle. Jason Myers. A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks have made this a one-score game. And we'll see if this rain affects the team's decisions going forward. But they kick it here, and it's good. Seahawks, 14. This game back with it. A touchdown now as the kickoff's away. Here's Smith to return it. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. These two teams trading touchdowns here in what has been a back-and-forth first half. And ordinarily, we're trying to figure out how to break out of a stalemate. Here, you're trying to figure out if you can slow someone down while continuing your breakneck pace on offense. I know one thing. The people in the crowd, they're getting their money's worth right now. And the fantasy owners like it. Oh, without a doubt. They're just tallying them up, aren't they? <laughs> they're watching this game. Seahawks, 14. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll run from the gun with Charles. Number it appears he'll be a few inches short, so nine yards on the gain officially, and it'll be third down. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that is incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. 
And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. First and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now, but let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. here to his running back and he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34 yard line he's tackled at the throw any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage they used great leverage held their spot and stacked him up Stops right at midfield. 16 yards, a first down. What an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. I mean, they're always hoping on that type of a play that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end of the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And Adams has it complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Brings up second and three at the 27-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. And that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. The Seahawks on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and two. They'll set up a throw. 
Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. These type of plays are backbreakers for a defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. It's their quarterback. His second touchdown of the game, giving him 12 on the season. And the Seahawks just an extra point away from tying this thing up. And he's got it up and through. Michael Dixon, the kickoff for Seattle. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked so something well. Else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. much doing he'll get this only up to about the 36 credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine whenever we talk about the best strong safeties one word constantly comes up and that's instincts being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves he crashed down hard there he was ready for that running play Another carry. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Call it an eight yard gain, much better shape now on third and just a yard. Short yardage situation, here's Charles. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts. First As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. They'll look to throw now on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, so much for getting separation. No chance there. Locked down tight, forcing the incompletion on that attempt. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. Back to throw now on first down. Flushed out right. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds.
after the incomplete pass. Here now is second and ten. Escaping the pressure right. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. From the left hash, this from 34. And Myers able to knock it through. And the Seahawks grab a 3-0 lead. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much, but it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. So it's still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And on that last drive, Whitford on fourth turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these... And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Second and four. And he finds a man on the crossing round. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. It's now second and ten. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Oh, look at the juice. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain, considering the blitz that they just had against them. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And unable to connect, incomplete. Well, give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. 
Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Barbara, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we usually think about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. Here we go on second and 12. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he comes back with one complete. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. On third down, you'll give them that. You just want to make sure that you play the first down line. They were able to get him down and force the punt. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Eluding the pressure right. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. All that for a two-yard gain, second down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Looking deep in the direction of Cooper. And this will be caught at the 30. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Amari Cooper, his first touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks are going to retake the lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Extra point up and through by Myers. And that gives him a three-point lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Here's Smith to return it. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Smith on the return. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 27-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Charles. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Third and ten wasn't going to be easy. Now after the holding penalty, they have to deal with a third and twenty. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Vita Vea able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It's fielded at the 45. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And the Seahawks will have great field position to start this drive. They take over on the short side of the field. On 
on first down. Atkinson, and he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. It's a gain of 12, first down Seahawks. We often give credit to the O-line there. Two tight end formation. Those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And they'll try to run the option here. The keeper gets him seven that time, but it'll lead to a third down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On third down, Atkinson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? And now the Lions going to stop us momentarily as they call a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And the drive will wind up yielding three. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Now a hit and a loose football. And they bring this one back. It's a fumble recovery and a Seattle touchdown. So problems here on special teams, and it results in the scoop and the score. They talk all the time on special teams about keeping your head on a swivel, trying to see the whole field. Hard to do when things are going that fast, bodies all over the place. You're just trying to find the right guy to align yourself with. On that play, wow. So here's the kickoff now as they'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Here's Smith to return it. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 26-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. And now offensively, it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. He's picked off just shy of midfield. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Okay, partner, no surprise to you. I'm going to look at this from the defensive perspective. In the rain, you have to be more cautious trying to cover passing routes. Why? The offense knows where they're going with the football. The receiver knows the route he's going to run. You have to make sure you keep your footing underneath you. Okay. 
They'll look to throw here on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone of the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off around the 41. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. At their own 42-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked by Riley Harrison. And a return across midfield into the 46-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this type of a... And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. A big play there. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the interception by the Seahawks. D leads to a touchdown. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. 49. Lions 28. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one. They'll probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. First down, Lions. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Now an inside handoff for Charles. And he'll take this one for about four up to the 40. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. The Lions on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This will be third and six. Comes, he's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Oh, we've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, and with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Justin Reed. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost like they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game? Well, they said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. 
is taking him one-handed. What a catch. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And at the 35-yard line. They'll drop the throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And incomplete on the deep ball. Again, he was looking for Devontae Adams. But it's going to be second down. At the 35-yard line. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked by Tracy Walker. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. First and 10. Well, they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch. Two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead. Talk about keeping someone in the game instead of being able to shut. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. John Johnson with the INT. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. That interception may be the exclamation mark on what really all around has been a good performance. A fantastic performance. They will enjoy film session. Their grade should be very good on this one. And I think the next time the offense gets the ball, I just think about running it and getting the clock done and getting the heck out of here. And by the way, semantics here, but before the grammar police come after me, I think it's exclamation points, not mark, right? You're asking me? Seriously? Yeah, you're smarter. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Amari Cooper, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Seahawks capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Makes the score Seahawks 56, Lions 28. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. And the Lions first down. They'll look to throw here. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by John Johnson. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran the wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing them. Flushed out right. Looking deep for Adams. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield. There he goes. Amari Cooper and all the way in touchdown Seattle Amari Cooper 76 yards and this Seahawks offense continues to pour it on well, where our booth is here, we can see all of the writers to our left. And their post-game stories, Charles, they have been filed for some time because this game, boy, is it lopsided. Yeah, we can see our guy Scoop. He's even got his fedora tipped over his face. I think he's taking a nap now. Nothing left to write for him. But how gratifying has it been for them to see what they've done in practice and carry it into a game and see the execution be so good? They've got to feel fantastic about what they've accomplished in this one. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we 
continue on now here in this fourth quarter. Jalen Smith, the Notre Dame man, in on the tackle. Second and 10 at the 25. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. They'll keep it on the ground with Charles again. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Lions on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and eight. Throw left side complete. It's Bradley. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That'll put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. They'll look to throw. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. As they've done all day, they run with Charles. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Bradley. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. And the Lions first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. And he'll get it down inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. For the running back. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. A 43-yard attempt. And Rosas pulled it. It's no good, and this score will stay right where it is. I tell you, it's not easy kicking field goals in the best of conditions. Yet in a downpour like we're in right now, it makes it that much harder. And sure enough, they can't convert here. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. 63. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's
Jesus well.
responsible without your money or not. Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell in the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell in the clock. Come like a guy to the hell, I dare you to cross like a reverend. And my energy paralyzed, I'm like a finger 11. Take a second, I'm finna send it like a bear in a mess. You're the best. If it ain't me, then you need you a confession. You a mess. Uh huh, you ain't scary to me. I heard you was a leader, but that ain't apparent to me. Put dust on you, like cheetah, run up and I'm there in the scene. And I feel just like Vegeta Prince, and I'm an heir to the seat. I mean, for real. Test the driver's soul so I don't even grab the wheel. That's a lot my chest, but it don't mean the man is stealing me. And I'm walking with some money, man. I mean a couple mil. <clears throat> Ew, think you need a meal. You ain't even eating while I'm feasting in the field. That's why I'm always cheesing, cause I feel like Uncle Phil. And always lose things to fresh, but ain't half the man as well. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell in the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And then we spin the block around just like the hell in the clock. She like the hands on the clock. I go back to bat when I'm doing numbers. All the mad that I'm driving the bus, so they threw me under. Heard they mad they don't wanna bust, so they boo each other. Think that they're the winning team, go losing, then they choose another. And that's okay, cause I'm competing with me, not you. I live with blessings like I can't stop sneezing, not you. I hate to break a boy, me and myself top two. I blow away the competition like a ball of hot soup. And there's no catch. I go and get the bag, and I'm not bringing it back. I'm like a down QB. I put the pain in the past. And if you ever had a problem, promise I didn't ask. So it's 444 in the car, my dash. I shake a big toe to mall. You ain't first, you last. Little boy, that's facts. I'ma call that cash to my money. <laughs> They did not want me to go places for your plans like the gold place. And if we pull it up with the whole squad, I get ready to told y'all that you better be running. I'm in my go yard when I walk in, I know y'all telling me nothing. I'm the man, mm, mm, mm. Suck it if y'all in denial. I get the chip on him and I bust out the south side. Is that because the guy? Oh, yo, stop it, quiet. If it's no, I didn't got it. See my jewels, shining, shining. White diamonds, Miley Cyrus. Private jet, private pilot. Look at me, stylish, stylish. Masterpiece, body, body, young. Stylish masterpiece, body, body, young. That rock. 
Glock, just like Tyreek Hill. I just count a hundred racks, that's a whole field. He don't want no championship, get him out of here. I just got a set, like I run up in the backfield. I just got a set, like I ran up on a quarterback. Shake and bake, make a play just like a quarterback. We ain't worrying about no farmers, we ain't staying there. Running off the block, yeah, I'm something like a linebacker. I got juice like a fanta, how you like it? How you like it? I'm on purple, I'm on yellow like a Viking. Like a Viking. All these plays that I'm catching, I done gone crazy. I do my thing, see it's rain just like Tom Brady. Touchdown, I 